Hello everybody, I'm not going to be talking the entire time to this video today, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on here and say hi and talk about my build today. So today we're building a really large family home, like a mansion. Um, the family that lives here had five kids, so there are five bedrooms upstairs and one bedroom downstairs for the parents. And there's also the most exciting thing for me in this build, because I don't usually do it, is like a butler's quarters area. Um, there is a lot of pulling and pushing and trying to find the right things because um, I do take inspiration for my builds from real houseplants on Pinterest and sometimes the scale can be all whack because you know obviously real life scale versus sim scale is a little bit not quite right so yeah, I have to like push and pull things here and there to make it work, but yeah, I'll leave you guys to watch a little bit more before I come back and have a chat with you guys again. So I'm going to have a talk to you guys about that little sunken area in the middle there. Um, I'm not sure if the plants actually had it sunken or not, I just thought it was a cool idea to kind of sink the family like home theatre sort of area down so you walk through the door and you take a couple of steps down into the main sort of area. Um, and I also used like the privacy hedge thing um, around as well, I just thought it looked fitting I guess. Um, yeah, I'm trying to kind of work out what I want to do around and and yeah, figure out all the scales and I forgot to add another little one of these weird garden things out the front so I just, yeah, mucking around with everything.
yeah, I do apologize for how long it took me to roof that. Um, it was really annoying to try and get it right and then like change the way it is here and then change it again a little bit later. Yeah, it's uh, oh, near impossible to get it right. Oh, I think I changed it again here. Yeah, so um, the roof was really annoying to get right. And I mean, this isn't, I don't even think this is the final part of the build, like in terms of the roofing. Might be, I have no idea. For some reason I thought I actually had already added this balcony bit at the back here. Um, I then later learned that I apparently didn't and that was very weird to me but now we're just trying to connect um, the butler sort of area, give her a little path to the backyard sort of space. And starting to do a little bit of the landscaping as well there. And this is again me trying to get this god dang uh, carport area right. Oh, it was near impossible. <laughs> I do change up the landscaping a little bit later when I go into debug to do it. And give you guys free trees. Woohoo! So here we go, um, we're in debug, finally getting the trees. Oh my gosh, it took me so long. I tried to get the same little trees that are over like the road in that center bit there. Near impossible, I swear. You know how happy I was when I finally found them. I feel like it took me way longer than it appears to have, but oh my god, it took me. When I say this took me so long to get that bloody tree, I mean it. I already had this pot plant here. Uh, I don't know why I put that in, but yeah, I couldn't figure out what plants I wanted to do out the front here um, in these little front garden spaces. So I just added those little trees and some shrubbery down the bottom. Again, keeping it simple. Alright, and I was just counting how many bedrooms we've got and how many bathrooms. And I just tried to get a really simple um, wallpaper and everything throughout the house. And I kept all of the bathrooms the same, literally throughout the whole house. Um, this is a really simple little area 
it's just for watching TV and then we've got the other one, we've got a movie room as well which you see here. And I added a little drink tray there so that they can enjoy themselves. And then I moved on to the kitchen because I wanted to put in a popcorn maker and I didn't want to forget it. Um, so I added like a huge commercial style kitchen that the um, butler will be in charge of. Sorry, here I was just trying to figure out the old placing for everything and I wanted to put a little towel thing right next to the sink there. So that's why that's like that. <laughs> Now this is something I don't usually do so I did use the pre-built rooms to kind of give me an idea of exactly what I wanted to put there but it's like a storage room. There's a lot of clutter in here, it's probably, it probably ended up being quite expensive because it's not debug clutter at all, They're, they all cost something but I'm actually pretty impressed, it's like a linen, linen closet sort of a idea, yeah, um, with just stuff in it basically. And then I just went straight next door and did a little water closet and I decided I didn't want to have that other little small bathroom there so I got rid of it. This is like the master bedroom bathroom area and this is like meant to be photos that they've taken underwater when they've had a trip to Sulani whatever um, just to have their bath up there so if you watch my Willow Creek tour video this is the Newberry's house this is on one sage estates and like the expensive part of Willow Creek with an outdoor kitchen and everything and um it's always always bathrooms um i just remembered i forgot to put the bathroom in the ups one of the upstairs bedrooms i always forget to put a bathroom in i apparently that's my thing um and this area, this landing, I couldn't decide what to do with it. I'm like, they've already got two landers, they don't need a third one. So I put like a games area because I've got five children, they need a games area. It was this bedroom, that that, that middle bedroom one, it's like a creamy yellow colour. I forgot to put a bathroom in there in this video, but it is in the screenshots and it's not in the gallery. <laughs> so if you want a bathroom in that room, then just you're more than welcome to go in and, and, and design your own bathroom, I guess. Took me a while to figure out uh, this closet that I wanted to put in there for, but we got there in the end. This is Molly's bedroom that I, you just saw. This is their little office, computer and everything. Because you always need a computer in your sim's house. Another water closet upstairs there as well. And this is... Yeah, no, I forgot her name. I'm so bad with names for Sims. 
the goth sim. This is her bedroom. I didn't really know what to do because it was like, you can't have activities because they've got a whole games room outside their door, so. Yeah. And then um, that was her bathroom there and this is Chase's bathroom. I decided to give him a bath because he's like a athletic sim. He wants to, to take after his dad who's a professional athlete. Um, so I kind of wanted to make sure they did a bath so that he could have soaks and stuff when he gets tired. Now this is a laundry. I'm very proud of this laundry. I don't usually do like full-on laundries for my sims, but yeah, I'm really proud of this. With like a folding station and everything in the middle there, I love it. And I realized that I had forgotten to put um, baskets across the entire house, so I went and did that. And then I just kind of went and basically gave her a really simple bathroom and a really simple bedroom. But yeah, we then added some cars and stuff outside and I gave a like a, a little like huge thing for the dad. Here I am uploading it to the gallery. It's called the Very Large Family Home. It does not include that bedroom. But yeah, so here are the screenshots. Uh, yeah, so just a warning, there are a lot of pictures here. So I took a few angles of the exterior so that you can kind of get the idea of what the house looks like. And then we have the pool area with a little kitty pool for the toddler. And here we have the outdoor kitchen and uh, picnic tables the simple lounge, the home theatre, the kitchen, the home gym, complete with a sparring thing, we've got the piano and dining area with a little balcony out there, we've got the gaming area upstairs, with the office, the really simple washroom which is the same as the one downstairs. This is Molly's room and her bathroom. Now for some reason she gets a walk-in closet and not the others but forget about that. This is the child's room, I've forgotten her name. And her bathroom, see wow, the ominous bathroom that didn't exist until now. And the toddler's bedroom. And her bathroom. Um, the punk goth teen's bedroom. The bathroom door is open because Miss uh Miss Butler is in there, yeah. And this is Chance's room. I don't know why I remember his name, but yeah, he got his own little weight thing in his room and his bathroom as well. Now we're going to cut down to the butler's room. So this is their bedroom. This is their bathroom. This is detached from the house. And this is the laundry room. Complete with like folding station and stuff. This is the outdoor hanging out area. Like the washing hangout. Yeah. And this is the cupboard. And this is the night view of the house. So thank you so much for watching you guys and I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next time and I'll see you guys in whatever video I make next. Thank you and I'll see you later.